David asked about creating planes at unusual angles. So I'm going to go up here and start a part. Now you may want to use this tutorial part, but I set up a template part, so that's what we're going to use. So there's no plane set, so we're going to go to the top plane, and we're going to create a part. Now I could have set up these planes without this, but it'll make it easier to see where the top plane is. So we'll dimension it 3 by 5 and make it about a half an inch thick. Then we'll bring it down below the top plane so that we know the top plane is at the top of that part. Start a plane. I use the word so a lot. I don't know why, but I do. So, you could find the plane here. I set it up over there. Or you can go up here to insert geometry, reference geometry, and then plane. Click on there. Now if we click on the top part, that's where the top plane would be. And we have it an inch above. This is all pretty normal. Now if we wanted to, we could actually click on the top plane and go down to reference geometry and then click on the plane. I would suggest if you have a part in there to click on the top of the part. So we can change that to 1.5 inches above. So this is all pretty normal. But the reason we're creating that plane number one is we're going to create some guide sketches. And I suggest if you're going to be using some unusual or weird or strange angles, whatever you want to call them, make some guide sketches just so it's very logical in your brain where items are going to go. So all I'm doing here is making a horizontal line, connecting at the midpoint. Wouldn't have to be. You could just pull it off of the center origin there. Or these sketches could be anywhere. I'm just connecting them to the origin for this. Now let's make one at an angle. We'll make that 30 degrees. And now we just made an angle of 30 degrees. Let's do one at 45 degrees. Now this guide sketch, you can just leave it in your part. That you're making and you can just hide it and you can always reference it back so if you're gonna have a bunch of weird angles you can put these in here now I'm trying to set up an angle there but those are already set so we need to create another guideline so let's go up there start another line and I just had an angle I did the other day that was 106.5 degrees. So let's go ahead and use that. Now this is just one way to do this. As you can see, that's also 16.5 degrees the other way. There's many ways to do the same thing in SOLIDWORKS. So this is just one way, not right or wrong, it's just one way. So now we have all these guide sketches. And if we want to, we can go up here, click plane, change it to 57 degrees off of that 30 degrees. So it's kind of unusual set of angles there. No. I tried to do it. Parallel it wouldn't work, so we tried perpendicular. Now it's just straight 30 degrees. Straight up and down, as you can see. So there's a lot you can do. Best thing to do with planes is just put some guide sketches up there and start clicking around and trying things. But let's go back to that 57 degrees off the 30 degrees, one inch up from the top plane. And we have created another plane. Now when you get start getting a lot of planes in here, you can either hide them and or you can name them. Just click on it, kind of click on it again slowly, and it'll allow you to change the name. Write whatever you want. 
We'll write one inch up from origin. And this next one is kind of a weird angle, so let's just call it weird angle number one. And you can hide them. And if you want, you can hide the guide sketches. Or rename it guide sketch guide angles and then hide it so now it kind of cleans up your view click on it hit sketch and then go up to normal 2 and it'll kind of give you a straight on view of what you're working with now it shows the plane as that little box but you can draw anywhere in that plane as far as you can see so well, I'm going to draw just a normal little circle right off the origin. And make it a quarter inch. And you can see it's drawn right at the plane there at those strange angles. So if we want to we can have it go down to the surface by clicking on the surface. And if we wanted to, we could bring it up the other way a certain distance. Let's just say half one inch. Or better yet, let's bring it all the way up to another surface and it's going to give it a nice cut there. See, you can do some pretty interesting stuff. And I'm just winging it here. I'm not, I don't have anything planned here. I'm just kind of playing around. So you can see, you can draw some pretty unusual stuff. Now, I could have done that quite easily by just going a different way by just clicking on that other plane but and doing a plane off of it. But this is just kind of showing you how to do things. Now, we can get rid of that extrude and make it a hole at that same strange, weird angle. So this is just one way to do it. Um, if you have a specific thing, then I can show you exactly how to make the plane for that. Okay, good luck.